What's Uncommon Fossil? And today, talking about a Corviknight VMAX Arceus V-Star deck. Um, this is one of those things, decks that's going to be rotating. Not the, the Arceus part, but the Corviknight is. And it's just a fun deck that I put together. I, I, um, Corviknight was, even back at, at its heyday, was probably okay. At this point, it's not as good as that now. Certainly, the loss of Metal Saucer is huge, amongst other things. Um, but it's still something fun, and I definitely want to give it a go before rotation. So I put this list together, and I've played it some, and I have tweaked the list, so the list is okay. It's I, To me, it's a pretty straightforward deck. Um, now, you might think it's a weird, wonky deck, in which case it, it probably says more... It may say something about how I think about the game and deck building, because this, to me, is a straightforward deck. It's It's very thick lines of things. And so what you need to do is fairly straightforward. It plays a 4-4 four, four Corviknight VMAX line. Look, if you're a budget player, you don't have the Corviknights, you're going to spend a ton of resources on this. Um, so, so I would say if you don't have it, don't go and craft it unless you have a lot of resources um, because it's not the best thing, and I don't think it's going to be super strong expanded. So, uh, but I have it. I had to craft one more VMAX actually, but that 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 was fine for me. Um, so, Corviknight VMAX. Sorry, getting into what it is a 320 HP Pokemon, so fairly tanky as the VMAXs are, um, and it's got a lustrous lustrous body ability. It prevents all effects of your opponent's Pokemon's abilities done to this Pokemon, which does help some. It was largely here before the last rotation that stopped it from getting pinged by the, the Inteleons in particular or the Galarian Zigzagoons, just helped making it tankier. Um, it, it still does help with things as well, with its tankiness. Um, but it doesn't stop effects of attack. So, right, so Giratina V-Star's V-Star attack will knock you out. This ability does not stop effects of attacks. Just, but it's, so what it has, it has a very nice attack here, G-Max Hurricane for three energy, Metal, 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 colorless. Uh, it does 240 damage, and that that's a nice number because you know if you play Duraludon, Duraludon VMAX, it does 220, and that's an okay number with that. So 240, even better, especially now there's these 230 HP basic EXs, so it's taking those out. So a very nice number. And metal, it's a metal type, and metal weak hitting for metal weakness isn't bad now either. It, that helps into some matchups too. Um, now, during the next turn, this Pokemon can't attack, but it has free retreat, so therefore it's kind of a pivot and um, accelerate and heal deck. We'll get into that. The healing's basically the stadium. That's it. Uh, there are other items that could go in the deck, but not doing that, I don't think what we have access to now is it's not how I built it. You can attack with the V. Sky Hurricane does 190 for three, then it can't use that attack the next turn, but of course, if you evolve into... The VMAX, you can use the Max Hurricane, or, or G Max Hurricane, my apologies, and then clutch 30 and the opponent can't retreat. Sometimes on turn one, that's good. And in fact, one of the ways that I like this attack is if I go second, my opponent puts a Mew EX in the active, I clutch all of a sudden that Mew EX with free retreat, it can't retreat. So the 30 damage isn't huge, but I, I, I can stall them for a turn potentially, and that is good. And then plays a 3 4 Arceus V Star line. Um, two reasons. One, Starbirth ability is very, very good. Search your deck for any two cards once during the game. Um, just that's the engine, right? Because the deck doesn't play any other engine Pokemon because we're trying to be tanky and not give up too many prizes. Um, so um, I can't afford other single prize Pokemon for an engine. And at one point I had included the um, Radiant, uh, was it Radiant Serena, I think it is, that, that, that heals uh, 20. Let me take a look at make sure I got the right one here. Radiant Serena. You can heal 20 from each, but again, the prize mapping, I don't like that. The goal here is make them hit through one Arceus V-Star, and then two Corviknight V-Maxes. Force them to take eight prizes, and that helps a lot with the prize mapping. It, it, it just makes them take at least an extra turn or two, usually, and that helps our chances to win. So Starbirth, and then Trinity Nova attack, right, does 200 damage, which isn't bad, or 180, because we do play DTE, which we're probably attaching. And then you accelerate three basic energies, basically you accelerate three metal energies to a Corviknight VMAX, get that ready to attack, because um, it takes some time to get the Corviknight VMAX powered up. We're playing 12 basic metal energies and three DTEs, right? We, we, we want to get as many of these metal energies accelerated as possible to get ideally all four Corviknight VMAXs set up, because then we have the free retreat and the healing, which is 
with the crystal cave here, right? So once during each player's turn, they may heal 30 damage to each of your metal and, and uh, dragon Pokemon. So that's really good. In fact, I, as I look at the list, I want to make a change here. Energy is an issue, I will say. So I put one EXP share, and uh, this one's not rotating because it was reprinted, by the way. I was going to put this in the cards I was going to miss with the rotation, but then I realized, no, it's not rotating. Anyway, when your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage, you can move energy to, the, to a, a basic energy to the Pokemon this card's attached to, so that's very good. I think I want a Raihan in this deck as well. So what do I want to do? I will drop... I'll just put one Raihan in. I was thinking I wanted Raihan the other day, and I forgot to put it in, so let me make that change. Okay, so getting the supporter, Raihan, it, you, this one is also, if you're knocked out, you accelerate energy from the discard pile, because it's like getting energies in play is important to have as many Corviknights to cycle between as possible. That way you get to heal more between before you send the same one up again to attack, and, uh, accelerate, and you search your deck for any one card. Really good there. So the other supporters in the deck for Iono... Um, just seeing cards and um, disrupting your opponent potentially is good there. Two bosses order, of course, very important. And two call risks, I, just a, a nice draw card. Look at the top five cards. You deck three in your hand, two in the lost zone. Just really builds things up. And you can usually afford to, to, to lost zone two of the five cards. So that that's those are the supporters. Uh, for switching, we play two rope. No basic switch, but two rope cards. Um, in part, our Corvidite VMAX has free retreat. The uh, Arceus V-Star retreats for two, but play DTE. So in essence, you can retreat for one energy off that. So we don't need a ton of switching rope, and, which also forces our opponent to switch as well. Two counter catchers, just really, really powerful, of course. Card, maybe go down to one and add something else. I got to think about that. Four battle VIP pass, because getting set up is just so important. This is one of the cards that I kind of... I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's so good when you pull one or if you pull two on your first turn, wow, you're set up, you're, go, you're gangbusters, but then you miss them and you're really in trouble because to fit the battle VA, four battle VIP pass means I'm only playing two nest balls, which means, which of course I can use that after my first turn. So uh, if I don't hit the battle VIP pass turn one, life gets tough. And four ultra balls, of course, I have the big evolution Pokemon, so I need ultra balls to get those out. Uh... All right, so what else? Where I'm at now. Two super rods. Getting, I need a ton of energies in play, so recovering them from the discard pile, very important, as well as Pokemon, too, because getting, you know, a, the more Corviknight VMAX you can get in play, the better with this deck. Um, and what else am I missing? I think I hit all the cards here, so that's the 60. I've put it together. I've changed it a few times. I just changed it as I was making this intro video, as you saw, and it, it, it's working pretty well. Um, it, it, it's It's... It's matchup dependent and how well do you set up, but it still is, for me, a fun deck to play. Let's take a look on the ladder and see what we can do. All right, hopefully we get a decent game here. Last game, the first one since I re started recording, was a terrible game. I just did not set up at all. I was just hitting, clutching with Corviknight for like five or six turns. Now, uh, because of that annoyance factor and a little bit of gusting, it kept my opponent from doing anything for a while, but eventually they got things going, and it, and I did not, and that was it. So um, going second, obviously want to go first with this as an evolution deck, but uh, okay, taking we both take mulligans, so that's okay. Um, obviously, I would have rather not taken a mulligan. What am I up? What am I up against? Uh, so this is the one. Okay, this isn't bad. Uh, so it's a Serena EX deck, right? Um, okay, I need to hit my energy. I need DTE, is what I'll say. And if I don't hit that, I'm in a ton of trouble. Um, Crystal K is going to be big, though, because I can't attend, because their goal is to knock me down to less, to my HP low enough that I can't attack, but because I can, um, because I could heal, then I, just healing that 30 is huge in this matchup, right? Because they'll put me down to 30, I heal, I'm, down, I'm up to 60, which is still low, but that allows me to attack, whether they have the uh, tool or the stage two. I'd love, uh, that's not what I want to see. Okay, so what do I ditch here? 
I'm going to assume they can't knock me out. That's my plan here. Okay, so I'm going to... I think I want to keep the boss around, right? I'm going to keep the boss. Um, get one V down. I'm going to attach to Arceus, which isn't terrible, as long as... I, this isn't a bad hand for next turn. It's not great. But just pass. I really don't want to gust up the Squirtle, because they don't... I don't think they're attacking with Ray and Greninja. Um, I can evolve which I get the DTE, and I get, um, what do I want to get? I guess I can have a supporter, probably. They're not going to hit into me, I don't think. So, therefore, I don't need to heal this turn. Okay, so they're just going to, this is going to be a setup turn for them. Actually, I'm at, I probably boss this turn, right? Take out the War Turtle. I do think that's the play. They're not going to disrupt my hand. I, do I want to do that? If I, let's see, if I gust, then I don't play a supporter. I grab probably a VMAX. I have Cave. Um, I'd, uh, I'll have to, I'll got to see what they play down, right? I, I do want to take out the War Turtle, I think, though. So Palkia, okay, Palkia is good too. I don't one shot the Palkia. Um, okay. Um, now, okay, so now I definitely go for the War Turtle because they don't have any energy in the discard pile for Palkia. That's not good for them, right? That's not good for them. All right, so uh, the EXP share I don't think really helps me now, does it? So. I'm going to grab a DTE, and I guess I'm just going to evolve, honestly. It, it's, uh, I don't love that play, but I think that's the best play. Um, it sets me up going forward, right? And I think with this boss play, it really it's going to set them back a lot. So, and I get that little delay where it, it goes up in the air, Quote, activating the ability. I, I don't, I, this is what it's doing, I think, right? So now, take the knockout. I get three energies on my Corviknight, who does not one-shot the, the Palkia V-Star, though. So let's see what happens here. Um, they don't knock out. Oh, yeah, just one prize. Uh, okay, so that's not what I wanted. I don't, the problem is I have a horrible hand now, right? So, see what happens. Um, uh, that, that does get two energies in the discard pile. So, they might be able to attack with Palkia. They may attack with Radiant Greninja. I, I, I one shot the Radiant Greninja, though. Um, Palkia. If they attack into my Arceus, I will just. Um, so, now they have three. They accelerate three energies now. Okay, they're playing the Glaceon V. Okay. And he's got an ability, right? The the V Max, sorry, not the V. I, I I'm thinking, I'm trying to remember. Does it give him protection from effects, something like that? Oh, they have Raihan in hand, so that's nice for them. So that means they can accelerate to the Pal. So they're probably going to grab a Palkia V Star if they don't have it. They can accelerate the energy. Um, if if they attacked, if they were to attack with a Ninja, then I would play my Crystal Cave, probably do some healing. Um, I don't have the knockout, so I think I. I'm going to attack with the Arceus V star. Um, yeah, I think that's what I do. I assume they're good. Well, I don't, I don't knock them out next turn. I can't knock them out next turn. Even if I had um, choice belts, I would get the 270. And I don't play choice belt, but they don't know that, of course. So they, but they should, you know, they should, they, they're, they're pretty comfortable that I cannot knock them out. So they, so they could save the V-Star power, right? I can see that logic. I think they're down to two. They don't have three. Okay, they are star portaling for two, so that's fine. I mean, I'm glad they're doing that. What's Glaceon? I do one-shot the Glaceon V or VMAX, so that's really nice as well. Okay. So they, they didn't even get halfway there, so that's really good too. Um, oh, no, they did get half. No, they did not, so... Don't need to play down. I'd love to accelerate to another Corviknight V. That, that's what I'm hoping for here. 
I missed. No, okay. I got that. That that's a good card. That's that's a nice card. Corviknight V. Just make sure I got the V Max, and make sure I have the energy. And you know, one could prize check, but I I checking the key things for this move. Um, so I attack. Um, which it's also important because the Corviknight V Max can't stream attacks, right? So besides switching and healing. You have to have another VMAX on the bench to switch, be able to attack each turn, right? Because um, that that's just got to happen. I'm trying. I don't remember what the Glaceon um, VMAX does exactly, and I'm not going to try looking it up. I mean, I could do that, right? Use my phone or switch tabs or something. But uh, let's see what they get in play. They're going to go for another. Uh, so try to set up another Serena. And yes, right? They are, which makes sense. I'm trying to remember, is, is Serena, the Radiant Serena, is that Metal Week? It, I'm trying to remember now. There's the Glaceon VMAX. All right, what does he do? Oh, oh, he's immune to my VMAXs. Well, that's not good for me. That's actually very bad for me, but one, two, okay. So that's very bad for me. What does he do? He does 150. Okay. He doesn't knock me out, though, which is super nice. And uh, okie dokie. So uh, Raihan's a good card, too. Um, so he knocks me out. Um, so I... So I I don't play Path of the Peak, so I cannot attack. Okay, so Glacian does have an ability, and not an ability I really like. I will say that, too. Um, so I'm doing 240. Is there something I want to one-shot? I think I'm happy taking out the Palkia, right? I could Raihan, but I'm going to be greedy going for more than that. Um... And I did, and my greed does. My greed gets punished, unfortunately. Um, let's think here. How do I work this? I'm gonna bench another V. I'll take the knockout. And um, I think now, who, uh, now, how do the abilities work out? Because. Right, Glaceon V is V Max is immune to me, right? But but I'm prevent all effects of opponents' p abilities done this Pokemon. So whose ability beats whose? Uh, let's see. All damage and effects of abilities. Um. Okay, I can't attack with him. If I need to evolve and I can attack with the other coordinate VMAX, I, it might be that I don't know if it's a matter of which Pokemon was in play first. Also, I gotta say. I don't I just not sure what's gonna happen here. So I'm going to attach an Iono, I think that's my play. I don't think I want to play the rod at this point. I I mean the two energies are good to get back in the deck, but I need to evolve this turn, right? Need to evolve. Um period. So they do 150, um, 30 to the bench. Okay, so they're irritating, which is okay. So they may get their, uh, no, they're not going to get a Serena EX in play this turn. Okay, uh, right. Oh, Chen Pao. Okay, well, Chen Pao, that's nice to see, because that, I one-shot him, and that's super nice. So that's a risky play um, from my perspective. Did I play, use my, I didn't use my uh, counter catcher yet either. Okay, well, that's not great. I will attach here. I will, I only see three cards. That, that's the unfortunate part. But hopefully I get what I need. And what do I want to do here? Um, I think I want a rope here, right? I'll see what they send up. That's my plan. See what they send up. I'm going to rope. And I could clutch. 
if I know I'm going to clutch, I probably send up the guy with full HP. Um, that's a question, right? Or let's see what they send up because yeah, because right, I have the I can't. I'm going to clutch. He he could do the 190 though. So you know if they send up Chen Pao, I just blow him up with my Corviknight V, of course. Um, so Squirtle, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna poke you with him. That's what I'm gonna do in here. So just doing this. Yeah, they're weak to lightning. I don't because I don't really want to knock them out in this case. Uh, I don't. Well, it's not terrible to not to, to damage them, right? Because it didn't take the prize actually. Because then I'm two, a two prizer away from winning, and they they played the Chen Pao. So maybe I should have gone for the knockout because I have the Chen Pao. Knockout for game. Uh, I'm not certain. I have the Culrus, which is which is a nice supporter to have. Um, yeah. So at this point, I'm looking at looking looking like I'm going to take a prize next turn. I don't think they're going to get the knockout. So if heads your opponent's next friends, I'll damage done. But it should. It can't retreat though. Still, right? I won't knock them out. Right. Um, if they attack with that, if they flip heads, if they don't, if they flip tails. Okay, so the thing is, they're going to be stuck in the active then, um, which may actually be to my advantage. Um, so if I want to retreat, I have DTE. So let's see what we hit. I want you. Do I want the EXP share? Right, that's one of those questions. Or do I want a Colrus? Um, I think I want to... Uh, they're both really important cards here. I'm going to grab this. I, that. Okay, so I want to... I evolve this turn, right? I evolve you. I'm going to keep you stuck here, right? I will attach my energy. It reduces my damage anyway, right? But that's okay. You flipped heads. You're going to be stuck in the active, though, I do believe, right? Yeah, it has the down arrow. So that should be... It cannot retreat. So that... So I, I just kind of... I keep them stuck there while I... My board state develops. I have boss in hand, so if they don't disrupt me, I can gust up. I... Uh, do I want to... Or do I want to save the boss, right? Because eventually they're going to flip tails and I have the knockout. So I think that's what I want to do. Um, and I cannot, no, I can't attack with the second attack either. And because I attached the DTE, maybe the DTE was a mistake. And I think about it, that might have been a mistake. Um, so they're going to evolve into. We'll see what happens. A Ser uh, the Serena EX, right? I believe, I'm pretty sure I have that, right? And, okay. So pal padding things back. Um, yeah, maybe I, at this point now, I'm wishing I had not attached the DTE because I only do 10 damage, right? And 10 damage is not good. Um So we'll see what they do. I, I, we'll see their what their plays are. So it's evolve to the evolve into the Serena. Um, of course, they want to reduce my damage down to thirty and stop me from attacking. They they haven't got the stage two into play yet. Okay, War Turtle. What's he do? Okay. Well, the effects are really uh, flying. I don't know sometimes it just does this. I, I don't really understand why. So they can accelerate three energies. I'll put them into hand. I, I yeah. Okay. So if I hit, uh, I need a basic energy. So I, I kind of. I but I have call risk, so it's not terrible, but it's not great. I don't think I want to stall someone else out. I'd like to take the knockout. Then I have boss for game next turn. Did I? I hit my energy. Well, that's easy, easy stuff to do there, right? So I attach. I'm not gonna just making sure I have the attack. Yes, I do. I will 
heal. I have a stadium in hand, too, so there's no reason to... I could have saved the stadium for next turn, but... Um, right, because they may hit... Um, if they bump my stadium, right, um, if they Iona me, the stadium goes to the bottom of the deck anyway. So having two go to the bottom of the deck isn't really any better than one. Okay, and I have... And I have free retreat, so... Um, I think I have, right now, I have game in hand next turn, but they, they might disrupt my hand, so it, it, there's no guarantees about that. Um, so Glaceon, which makes a ton of sense, of course. Um, I don't know if I can max, well, Max Miracle misses the attack by, by 10, the knockout by 10. I don't know if, I, I, I don't know how those effects work, right? I, I'm, I'm going to have to look that one up. If you know how it should work, let me know in the comments below. Should my Corviknight hit through because it, 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 it is supposed to affect it prevents effects or does crystal veil still right crystal veil stops me from damaging my lustrous body i think turns off crystal veil okay and that's fine it's a logical play um i'm just going to gust up the chen pao which eh, they probably shouldn't have benched uh, right they haven't made use of it i don't think and I'm going to gust him up for game now. So, um, you know, Chen Pao does give them the ability to blow me up, which I get that. Um, and, and that's fine. I'm just going to boss and take game, right? So, boss, Chen Pao, and 480, because you're weak to me. And I knocked him out even without weakness, so... Uh, you know, the 240 number is nice, and there we go. So got things going there. Um, the Glaceon VMAX was interesting. I'm not sure the interaction. I never tried it out. And, but uh, otherwise, it you know, the Serena's deck strategy, it doesn't work great against this deck because of the Crystal Cave healing. And the deck came through, and, you know, it was a, a, a fun game. It was an interesting game. All right, hopefully we get another good game to show off this deck here. Um, yeah, and hopefully I get to go first. I think that since I've started recording, I've been going second each game, I think. And which, you know, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. All right, I get to go first, which, which, is, I, which is generally ideal. Um, you know, I haven't hit Battle VIP Pass since I've been playing the game today either. All right, taking a mulligan. And there's eight basics, I mean, which isn't terrible, but, it, you know, it, it's on the lowish side, I would say, for decks. Yeah, it's definitely the lowish. Okay, one mulligan. Let's see what I hit. Uh, oh, this is, a, this is a super, super good hand. Okay, so I'm going to... I'll have to decide. I'm going to put down at least two Corviknight Vs down, and I might put down more than that, right? This is very nice. So... Um, Let's take a look here. Two of you guys, they're not going to knock him. I have three V-Maxes, so I think I want to... I'm going to play three Corviknight Vs then. That's my plan. And I think I have to play at least... No, I, I can fail it completely, that's true. So I'm just going to get you down. And, yeah. Let's keep the one in hand, just thinning the deck out, right? Thinning the deck is the goal there. I can accelerate energy next turn, um, so end turn. So that that that's very nice there. Um, if they were to rope me, I do have the potential, as long as I evolve to the V Max, then I have free retreat. So we'll see what happens there. Um, see what happens, right? To in order for the Giratina to one shot me, they've got to um, use their V Star attack which so that that's three prizes one turn there they have to get to 10 though you know i can i one shot the v i do not one shot the v max so you know that that 240 number is nice but right that's kind of how i'd say it so they have two they have three in the loss zone they may just attack with the v all right path to the peak well that's unfortunate for me um but you know i do play four cave and uh, we'll see what happens here I will attach to the Arceus V, because that's my goal, is to attack with the V-Star, right? 
Okay, don't bench him. Accelerate energy. I mean, attach for turn. Don't accelerate. Play Iono. Give me a V-Star. Give me a V-Star and a V-Max, ideally. Um, well, that's kind of stinky, isn't it? So how do I want to work this? Do I want to accelerate? Do I want to attack, right? Hmm. I think I could rope and hit. No, I already attached, so I was, okay. So I'm going to attack. Do I want to accelerate or damage, right? That's my question now. I think I want to damage this turn. I'm going to damage. Um, hopefully they can't knock me out. There's a good chance I get knocked out and I kind of lose the game though, right? I have rope and clutch is, is my fallback, right? They're at five in the lost zone. So I, I shoot, you know, um, yeah, so they're going to get seven in the lost zone and they need, so they need, um, their Mirage gate and they need a switching card, right? That, that's what they need now. So they get, got retreat, so they're at six, and they're going to be at seven. Um, Mirage Gate, and they need a switching card and the V-Star, and they knock me out, right? So they're at seven. They'll be at nine. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Getting rid of the path is good because I have Crystal Cave. Ooh, are they going to? Okay. I'm, a bit su I'm surprised by the current right because I don't love that for them. Um, maybe they don't have the V-Star, though. Um, so maybe they're just going to hit me with Cramorant, which, you know, I, I, I don't really mind that, I got to say. Um, I could use my rope. If they, if they hit me with Cramorant, I could use my rope. All right, so they're getting rid of... So they're getting 10 in the Lost Zone, okay? Going to bump their tool, I assume. They want to keep the path of the peak in play. Um... So now they have 10. So now they can Sableye as well. Um, rope. What do I want to do? Do I send up the, the V-Star? I'm going to set up my, my V-Max. If they, if they knock out my V-Max, I, I scoop. Okay? That's my thought. He has free retreat. So, okay. So he's who I want against Sableye. Definitely. So, and I can heal with Crystal Cave. So that's a plus. Um, I really need to get my V-Star in play because I need I want to take the knockout and get energy accelerated, right? Because I didn't accelerate any energy last turn, which isn't good, right? Because I smacked into the Giratina V, though, I do finish him off because I can't one-shot the, the Giratina V-Star. So that was a, you know, that's part of my thinking there, right? Hit into the V. Um, okay. I mean, if they... Ideally, they'd sprinkle 30 around to everybody because then my cave gets... Okay. All right, so I heal up most of those Corviknights. Um, I have boss. How do I want to work this now? All right, so I'm going to Crystal Cave. I'm going to heal. I think I, I, think I want to... Do I take out the V-Star? I think I do. It's dicey, right? But no, they're, they're, they can't take him out, right? So I'm going to take you out. I'm going to attach here. And I grab two prizes, right? And two prizes is good. Which could be a, there's a VMAX in there, and I don't know what else because I didn't prize check particularly. Um, and they concede. So, okay. So taking, you know, so... I wasn't set up well in general, but hey, the healing negated their Sableye, and they should have anticipated the, the uh, Crystal Cave, I will say, and hitting, taking out their Giratina V before they could get that evolved was very good for me. And look at that, Fireworks by level 63. Let's see what the rewards are. All right, got something useful, not just coins, got 50 crystals. It's not a lot, I will say. Again, these, these, these pro, these, uh, whatever, your profile levels up rewards aren't huge, but hey, at least something's better than nothing. And uh, so anyway, got through a, another, got through the um, matchup against uh, Lost Zone Giratina, which is probably, which may be the best deck around. It's certainly a scary deck. Um, 
I, look, it's a better deck than this, is what I would say. But um, you know, hey, they got a little unlucky, but also I got unlucky too. I didn't, I didn't hit my Arcanist V Star, and uh, I play obviously three V Stars. I play four Ultra Balls, you know, two Colrus and four Ionos and such. So I have a decent chance of getting that uh, V Star. But you know, maximize the pieces I had in hand, and it was enough to win the day. So anyway, look, it's a fun deck. If you have a lot of these cards already, I'd encourage you to give it a try. If you like it, you know, just uh, let me know. And if a deck like this appeals to you, hopefully you have some fun playing Pokemon.